On my car ride, if I be singing, need a gun to get in. Bad bitches with the toes off. And we're motherfucking back today, baby. Sunday night motherfucking football. And we got a good one. Um, hey, my no boy, boy. I don't know what time it is in Korea. In it's Monday over here. Hey, it's Tuesday over here, man. It's 9.03. And I'm motherfucking ready. I'm going to start with my pick for the game. I'm going to go with the trend, which is uh, the under. The under for the game. I feel like Russell, he had himself a good little, a good little debut. But uh, I feel we're going to get back to his regular his regular schedule programming, man. His game planning. I think the defense is going to step up for the Steelers. And, uh, and I don't think too many points going to be scored. On the, on the opponent side, the under is what thirty seven and a half, and the over for the team is at twenty and a half. So I could see the Steelers maybe cranking out twenty four points, you know, on some Najee Harris having a good game. Considering the uh, Giants defense is pretty weak, run rush defense is pretty weak. So uh, under for the whole game, and uh, if you want to sprinkle some shit on Najee Harris to get sixty four and a half or seventy plus yards on the rushing on the rushing attempts or rushing side. Go ahead and get some of that. Uh, I'm gonna swing this bitch over to Dan. Talk to me. Hey man, y'all saying y'all know what time it is. Y'all know I got the Rico Suave going in. Y'all see the hair. <laughs> That's besides the point. But anyway, we got the New York Giants. What I'm gonna be taking is the New York Giants team total over 14 and a half. Right? Call me crazy, but you know we got injuries on the uh, Steelers. Uh, Jackson's going to be out, if I'm not mistaken. He's one of their top corners. Uh, so, you know, I know it's kind of hard to have faith in Daniel Jones, you know, because he kind of sucks. So, I definitely like their team total to go over. I can see them getting about 17 points. Um, yeah, so 14 and a half is what I got for the Giants. And then I'm going to swing that bit to Ed. What you got for us, Ed? Yo. I know last time I was on here, I wasn't on the camera. You know, I had to make that that appearance. You know, shout out to Wendy's. We we ain't endorsed, but hey, if you, if you want to endorse us, you know where we at. <laughs> but uh, I got the two pick today. Um, like Josh said, I think Russell Wilson, he want to keep his start job. If he have a bad game versus them, they might go back to Justin Fields. So I think I'm going to take his over on yards. Last time I checked, it was at over 201. I think he can easily get that. Um, Giants defense is not that good with the passing. And then I'm going to take Najee Harris rushing yards as well. And that should be it for me. I'm going to pass it to uh, Jose. Yo, what's good, y'all? You see what's on my hat? Uh, Yes, sir. um, If you made something like all of us did over the weekend, lock in Cam Ford for the Heisman. It's still plus money. Ashton Genty, not it. Travis Hunter, not it. Going at locking Cam Ford for the Heisman. Um, so as far as tonight, we got a nice little lineup. Um, as Josh said, the under is always something that I recommend sprinkling something on. But uh, my go-to for today is Malik Neighbors over six and a half. I don't see him coming back and getting less than seven receptions. Um, specifically, over 68 and a half as well. Um, and then if you add an anytime touchdown, you got a nice little lay. Uh, I think it's plus 437, plus 437 on my bookie. But um, I'm on the Malik Neighbors train. I do feel like Daniel Jones is going to come around today. Uh, he ain't throw a touchdown in two games. That's a lot for a starting quarterback, and we all know what he's making. Um, I also have Pittsburgh Steelers over two and a half touchdowns. Um, George Pickens got to get in the end zone. Pat Fryermuth got to get in the end zone. Najee Harris got to get in the end zone. Jalen Warren, like, they got a lot of weapons, and I don't think scoring three touchdowns is going to be difficult. Um, it's just a matter as if they're going to do it. And then ultimately, uh, I still think the under can cash because I don't see the defense scoring more than one touchdown, maybe two, but uh, one of them got to go to my neighbors. Um, as far as the rest of the night, 
I know um, you got every sport on. You got NBA, you got NHL. So I'm going to let the boys rock out. And then we'll double back to me and I'll get the rest of my car. Go ahead, Dan. All right. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to go. I got a three pick for y'all. Um, I got the Pittsburgh Steelers money line. I got the New York Yankees. Look at this nigga, man. That shit's crazy. I got the New York Yankees <laughs> plus two, plus two and a half, and then I got the Memphis Grizzlies money line. Right, y'all should be able to lock that in. But side note, Ja Morant is out, so you know that Memphis Grizzlies might be a little shaky. I had put it in before they let it be known that he was out, so. That's going to be my other pick for tonight. So you got really three of the sports, NFL, MLB, and then NBA. What you got for us, Ed? I actually like your pick with the uh, the Grizzlies because majority of last year, that same team had to play with them without, Fair. you know, had to play without them. And then the year before that, he was hurt, so they had to play without him still. So I actually like that pick. Uh, for me, I'm going to do a three-leg uh, basketball-wise. I'm going to do Anthony Davis over 40 and a half alternate uh, PRA. I mean, 45 alternate PRA. Um, he didn't cover it convincingly the last three games. Uh, I don't see him slowing down. Uh, you know, LeBron James is getting kind of old, so the, the offense is running through him. And as you can see, when it runs through him, the results get shown. Um, along with that, I'm doing LeBron James over on his points because, you know, he – no matter what, he's going to try to average that 25 and a half or that 25 by the end of the season. So they only got him at 22 and a half points. I think that's a steal. And then with the same game, depending on where they got Rui at, I know he's been knocking down threes a lot more. So 14 and a half. I was talking about for his threes. But his points, I will, I will go with his points too, but his threes because um, the Lakers' offense is a lot better this year. They're moving the ball, and as always, for some reason, he's mm. the one person that's always open. So they either don't trust him or they haven't been checking the scouting report because he didn't had a three or more in every game this season so far. So I would either go with his points or his threes, but if it was up to me, I would probably more so go with his points because he's been a lot more aggressive this year. Uh, mm. What about you, Jose, if you're doing basketball? Um. Right. So I ran an assist prop parlay, um, K Cunningham over seven and a half. These are all like the traditional over unders, no alts, but, um, that game is going on now for the record, but K Cunningham over seven and a half cover Donovan Mitchell over four and a half. And then Fred Van Vliet over six and a half to cover. Um, that was plus four fifty. I think that's great value, uh, for just covering. Um, will they cover? We still will. Um, I got some other picks just more related to the World Series. Um, it is the World Series, so I definitely think futures bets are uh, legit. And um, they got great value, especially anybody Yankees-wise uh, with the Dodgers up 2-0. But I got on today and saw they had uh, Shohei Otani for World Series MVP at a super boost of plus 1482. Um, if the Dodgers win tonight um, and if he goes yard tonight, I think he's locking himself in at MVP. Um, the Dodgers a little bit of everything as far as the offense. If he can continue to hit the ball, stay healthy, hit a big one, I, I think locking him in at MVP is nice. And then finally, uh, I got Walker Bueller over three and a half hits allowed. It's like this. Walker Bueller is either Cy Young or he's Nestor Cortez. So... It's mm -hmm. Cortez, three and a half is guaranteed. He's one of only three starters um, that are even on the roster. So he going to have to pitch. I don't think they're going to pull him. He might could give up four or five runs, and they might keep him in, especially if it's early. So that um, minus 166, I had to get it early because it's probably minus 190 now. But that, that was a nice one. And then Tommy Edmond, one home run tonight plus 900. Do your research. If you don't know who Tommy Edmond is, they run in a dynamic where he's batting last, and that allows Shohei Otani to hit with somebody on base in most cases, because Tommy Edmond 
is a number two or three hitter in anybody else's lineup. Do your research. Uh, what you got, Ja? Uh, what you got, Dan? Um, I'll go ahead real quick. Just to pick it back what you said, uh, if y'all don't know, Shohei is a lot is a is a way better hitter with somebody on the base. Um, the whole postseason, he's like fucking two for fucking thirty or some shit like that. Right? When when people are not on the base. People on the base, motherfucker hand lights out. Um, as far as MVP wise, listen, if he don't if he don't if he can have a home run today, but Freddie Freeman keep on slapping shit like the way he's been doing the past two games, yeah, that, that MVP going to Freddie Freeman. Uh, Freddie Freeman. Looks, bro. Pretty friends, but we call them in the day. To, yeah, I'm gonna look up the odds on that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna look up the odds on that. Yeah, yeah, Freaky Fred, but yeah, Freaky Fred, he, hey, are we back to back home runs in the game? Well, not back to back, well, home run in the first game, home run in the second game. Yeah, back yeah, to back. Aaron Slam, the first run. one, and I think he had a two run home run in the second one. And uh, the Dodgers' bats are hot. The game is scripted for Oshoha to have a, you know, a decent game, you know, shoulder injury or whatever. Um, I don't know why he couldn't get up and walk, but beyond me. But either which way, you know who I'm rocking with. Fuck, it ain't brick outside just yet. It ain't brick outside just yet. Um, for tonight though, the game about the start. If it's not if it's started already, Memphis Grizzlies game. I got Zach Levine points and rebounds at 24 and a half. And um, who the fuck else I had? Uh, Jalen Green over 21 and a half points. I'm a, a stats over facts. I'm, I'm the stats are there to back them both up. Um, Zach Levine, when he don't have Demar Derozan, that line he clears that line with ease, right? He's already averaging twenty four point seven points in his first three games of the season, and uh, points and rebounds at twenty four and a half. So the shit almost you know like a given. The Memphis don't got no crazy defense, and just to go off uh, Ed's point, the Grizzlies play way better ball without Ja Morant. Um, and I, I don't even think that's by coincidence. It's just the ball flows a lot better around the court. And you got motherfuckers actually making shots rather than motherfuckers trying to dunk that bitch because they can't shoot the shoot. Um, so, yeah, my, that's my little two pick. Uh, like I said, under for the for, under for the NFL game, Najee Harris rushing yards, over. Uh, Zach Levine, 24 and a half re, uh, points and rebounds. And motherfucking Jalen Green, 21 and a half points. Um, lock that motherfucker in. If y'all want to lock in with our picks early, join join the Discord. Uh, join the Discord. As simple as that. Because um, by that time we know we do this, at times we got a live too. So the shit might be a little too late. But if you join the Discord, you'll get you'll, you'll be locked in with the picks. Um, Dan, I handle that link for you. It'll be uh, attached to the motherfucking uh, to the post when you see this. But uh, it'll be in the description below. And I don't like the way the fact these niggas talk like the World Series over. Because, you know, New York going to come out this show. You know what I'm saying? We're going to bounce right, back. Right, hey, we're going to back and back wins. I don't know what's wrong with them. Otani winning. Listen, Otani being out. Hey, we going to. Hey, listen here, man. If, if and, and my boy brought out the, the Black History Month New York Yankees. So you know, <laughs> you know, it's, you know it's real. Come on now. Big Jackie. Big hey, game. but yeah, y'all know I still got the bet with Jose with the uh New York against the Dodgers. You know what I'm saying? It ain't looking too good. But hey, shout out to everybody that's being on. Make sure y'all look at the description below. Follow our Instagram and all our separate Instagrams. And just like that, we gone.